Hi, I'm Matt from eSpares. In this video, I'll be showing you how to change electrical parts in a Karcher pressure washer. If you need to diagnose a problem with your pressure washer, you can see information about that in a separate eSpares YouTube video. Safety first, always unplug an appliance before carrying out any work. And in order to carry out these fixes, you first need to remove any hoses or accessories that may be on the outer body of your pressure washer. And you'll need to separate the two parts of the body by undoing the seven torque screws that hold it together. Remove the detergent hose. And here we have the motor and its cover. So release the mains lead grommet from the case and lift out the motor and its cover, making sure that you don't lean it on the switch lever here. So put it that side. Now we need to separate the two parts of the cover. You may need a flat headed screwdriver to be able to remove these clips here that keep it in place. Now you'll find that there's a little black clip that keeps the other side of the case on. So you can just give that a little press and that should release the bottom half of the cover. And here we can see the switch. So easy enough to remove. Just give it a good pinch and work its way out of the motor assembly. Now you'll need to replace the switch lever. So turn that 180 degrees and that should come out of the switch assembly. Grab your new switch, which you can see goes into place like so, and then we can reattach the electrical connectors, but make sure you put your switch lever in first. Then you can switch over the electrical connectors using the old one for a reference. There may be little tabs on these connectors. So either give them a pinch or you can use a screwdriver to help release them. So there we have one new switch fitted to this Karcher K2. Another issue, another electrical part that may need changing, very common, is the carbon brushes may need changing on the motor. Simple enough to do. They're actually held in by this spring, so just move the spring to one side, and then you can ease out the carbon brushes and remove their electrical connectors. It's just come off. Very simply, again, might need to pinch. You can then grab your new carbon brush, making sure that the spring is out of place first. And the spring keeps it into position, like so, and then reconnect the electrical connectors. And when you've replaced all the carbon brushes on the K2 or the switch, you can then replace it in the motor case, making sure that the switch fits into its section there and also the capacitor next to it. So push the capacitor right down into the compartment and then make sure that these wires are in this groove here so they're not pinched by the motor case and also the mains cable here. And do be careful when putting the two parts of the case together that you don't pinch these wires here. So there we have it, a switch and carbon brushes changed on this K2. So you can then put the motor and its case 
back into the body. Making sure that the mains lead grommet goes back in the right place. You can then re-screw together the two parts of the body and remembering to reattach the detergent hose. There we have electrical parts changed on a K2 Karcher pressure washer. For larger Karcher pressure washers, you may have a problem with the capacitor and need to replace it. So, same deal with the K2. Remove any hoses or accessories that may be on the outer body. And then, again, remove the two halves of the outer body with a Torx 10 screwdriver. Once all the screws are removed, you can turn the chassis over and lift off the yellow part of the body, making sure that the mains lead is out of the way. And here we can see the motor and the pump assembly. So you can lift that up out of the chassis And place that on your surface like that. I'm just going to disconnect the detergent hose and here we can see the capacitor. The capacitor is actually only held in by the housing here but it is also pinched by the motor at the bottom and the pump at the top. So you need to remove these four screws, not entirely, remove the two nearest the capacitor first completely and then release these two at the back as far as you can and then we can simply pull the capacitor out. This is the last screw that I'm unscrewing and what this is doing is creating a gap in the motor that you can see there. So you only need to undo this enough so that you can pull the capacitor away from the lip and simply pull it down. When capacitors fail they can leak such as this one here so you can see that this one has failed quite dramatically if this has happened to your capacitor, you'll definitely need to replace it. When replacing the capacitor, line up the connectors nice and straight and you should feel them fit into the two slots in the housing. You can then push it up another couple of mil to secure it in place and push it over the lip. Then you can re-secure the four bolts to keep it in place. Now as I'm tightening the bolts here, I'm compressing a spring with inside the assembly. So it might be a good idea to use a ratchet for some extra force. As you're tightening the bolts, make sure that the gap in the motor housing has closed, that the capacitor is in the correct position, and also that this water seal is covering the join between the capacitor and its housing. You can then replace the motor and pump assembly in the bottom of the case. And it's worth noting that the case has a mounting hole there, which relates to that part of the motor and pump assembly. So that needs to sit in that hole. And whilst I do that, I'll also reconnect the detergent hose.
Then make sure that the mains cable grommet is in the right position. The flat part at the back. Make sure the mains cable is tucked under the capacitor and then you can put the two parts of the chassis together. Hold the two parts together, flip it over, you can then re-screw it together. So there we have it, new electrical components fitted to Karcher pressure washers. Remember, spares and accessories for pressure washers and all other appliances can be found on the eSpares website. Thanks for watching.